Okay, here we go. Another problem. Uh, this time, it's a GM 4.3 uh, throttle body fuel injected on my Jeep and of course it has one spot for a thermostat because it's all stock uh, One spot for a, a temperature sender and that's for the ECU to actually set fuel and I need two more I need one for uh, temp gauge on the dash and one more for my electric fan control so older cars pretty much don't have a uh, fan they have manual fan and they don't have a computer um, and when they do have a computer the computer usually runs the gauges in this case this thing's stripped out thrown into an old Jeep and I need more temperature so where do you put it I don't want to drill the manifold uh, and there is basically uh, the only option that I used to be able to find was you got the thermostat in there the hose comes out they make adapters for the hose that gives you a little uh, bung to screw in a temperature sender there the problem there is the engine's what you really want to check the temperature on and you don't get the temperature of the engine until the thermostat opens when the thermostat opens then you get the temperature of the fluid leaving the engine which is usually good enough problem is if the thermostat gets stuck you don't even know your engine's overheating so uh, i didn't want that i wanted to make sure that my temperature gauge on my dash was accurate the ecu had to have the right temperature so what i did is i ended up finding this Um, it's from Northern Radiator and it is a they call it a water bypass kit and what it's really for is bypassing it put as puts it goes in as a spacer between the thermostat has a spot to move your thermostat up so then you have water jacket locations on it which allows you to have water come through it and bypass this uh, the housing at all so I didn't care about that. I needed to use. A, I needed spots to be able to put some uh, temperature centers. So I figured it should work perfect. Now, alternately, you know, this is uh, electric fan control. This is kind of you know an actual sending unit that would be screwed into the uh, water jacket. Uh, most people, in fact, I typically would use this style, which is the style that you slide through the veins of the radiator and it has to get the temperature and you set it it'll turn the fan on when it gets when the radiator gets a certain temperature and you kind of time it you just watch your engine temp go up and then you adjust this to where it kicks on problem with these is as corrosion builds up as it's raining outside anything happens to this thing you're going to have different temperatures at which the fan's really kicking on so i want it to kick on when i want it to kick on and i don't want it to change over time i want to make sure it's guaranteed if this thing actually gets pulled out or something happens this thing isn't quite as reliable so I'm going to do this. So in this case, all I had to do is if you take a look at that, you can see that the thermostat actually blocks some of it. So depending on the length of your um, temperature probe, it may interfere with the uh, thermostat. So good news here is it comes with uh, quarter inch threads. These are eighth inch threads. So I picked up some quarter to eighth inch adapters so I will basically I'm just gonna screw that baby in and then have my temperature unit thread into that and it'll keep the temperature probe where it's not going to be interfering with the uh, thermostat if you take a look plenty of clearance and the water will still get it close as soon as I screw this in it's gonna be probably another quarter inch in so it'll be in there plenty far enough to get me a good uh, good reading um, just the orientation of how this thing goes on the motor I had to use this larger half inch I'm gonna plug this one and I had to get a half inch to eighth inch adapter uh, which uh, this particular adapter what I did is I reamed it out a little bit here down so that I have room for the water to get uh, inside so that when I thread my pickup in it water can get around the edge of it and it'll probably you know should be able to be better especially once I seat this in all the way it'll be in far enough where it'll have accurate water temperature and that will solve my problem I'll have one for my fan control one for my speed hut temperature gauge on my dash and 
plenty of room for my thermostat, my housing, and I'm going to be good to go. So, just thought this might help since uh, I didn't even know this thing existed. So far, I think the only thing, one only way what I found like this has been for the GM small blocks, the you know the classic 350, 305. Um, probably even 289, any of the GM small blocks along with uh, the 4.3 uh, motor that I'm using, the, the throttle body injected versions of the 4.3, I use the exact same water jacket. I'm not sure if the uh, Vortec versions of the 4.3 have the same water jacket housing, but this certainly works for any carbureted uh, vehicles of the early uh, Chevys, so should be good. Just figured I'd pass this on to anybody because I struggled to find something to get this happen. I was ready to start drilling and tapping my manifold, um, which can cause its own issues because there's no real thick spots on that existing stock manifold to start tapping and getting a good amount of uh, thread bite for sealing. Not to mention you got problems with thread, you know, uh, metal filings from drilling getting in there. Um, so that's my solution. Non-hardening. I like using that for water jackets, water pumps. And that's going to set right on there. Got new gaskets. That little puppy's going to... I've got Permatex, same thing on this side. That'll make it up with that. Got the thermostat in. Two new gaskets. These don't go into the water jacket, but I still put some thread sealer on those. And... Got that all the way through there. Get that lined up. nice and snug. I use grade 8 bolts and everything. Probably way overkill, but they don't also find it they don't rust. There we go. That is on. And now, and now I've got my thermostat for my temp gauge. Put some thread sealer on it. Throw that in right there. This is way too big a wrench for that tiny little connector, so you just don't want to over tighten it. So I'm going to move my arm down the wrench a little bit. You just don't want it to leak. So I'm going to snug it in. And so I can see the connector top. And then if it leaks, I can always add a little, tighten it a little bit more. But kind of want to avoid over tightening and cracking any sensors. So that's on there nice and tight. That is sealed. That is good. So I am good to go. And notice how nice that fits. This wouldn't have cleared uh, this other fitting. So uh, that's why I had to use this port and this one in the back, which you can't see in the camera anyway. So there it goes. Gives me room, clears everything. Now I can get two temp sensors and I am thrilled.